Hey guys, Bombbuster72 here again. I'm continuing my search for the perfect fixed blade knife for camping, hunting, and survival. Now this is the perfect knife for me. Who knows, maybe it'll be the perfect knife for you as well. Today's knife is this. Now if you recognize this knife, you would know that this has been discontinued. This is the Columbia River Knife and Tool. This is the M60 SOTFB. The blade is stainless steel. And it's just over four and a quarter inches long. It has a full tang and the overall length is close to nine and a half inches. You can see that it has a tanto tip on it and it has a partial serration. It comes with this nylon sheath and before it was discontinued, this listed at $100. You can still find this knife for about 60 if you look on Amazon or eBay or one of those places. So let's get on with the tests. All right guys, well let's start out with some slicing and some sharpness tests and then we'll move on to the rougher stuff and then we're going to come back and see how well this knife holds its edge. Let's start out with some paper. Now this is really going to tell us as far as razor sharpness. A knife doesn't have to be razor sharp for this purpose but it's nice to know where we're starting. As you can see it, it does okay in some of the time but it's really not razor sharp and that's okay. That's not what I'm looking for. I just wanted to get a nice baseline to see how well it did. Now let's move on to something a little more practical. I'm not going to be doing much slicing of paper in the wild, but I am going to be cutting some parachute cord and other types of rope and things like that. So let's see how it does. As you can see, it sliced through it fairly cleanly. It did a decent job. This is the type of thing, a practical purpose, that I would use a knife for. So let's see how else it slices on some practical things. I have a piece of leather here. This is something that you could possibly be cutting out in the wild. It'll also let you know how it'll work on animal hide. As you can see, it did a fairly decent job of it. All right, so let's get on with the rougher tests. We're gonna do some chopping, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna see how well it does with these same tests with the parachute cord and the leather and maybe even try it out on the paper. All right, so here we have some about three quarter inch square pieces of wood and we're gonna see how well we can process some tinder from this. As you can see, we got some good curls of wood off of there. It's fairly thin. It does a decent job of that. But that's not the only thing we need to be able to do. We are also going to need to process some kindling. We need some small pencil sized pieces of wood. And how are we going to get those? So it seems to do an okay job of that, but we might need to do a little bit more than that as well. So here I've got, yes, this is a manufactured board, it's not a log, but let's see how well it does at splitting. As you can see, it does a fairly decent job of it. What if I need to chop up some logs? All right, so here we have the same piece of wood I used last time in my test, and we're gonna try it out again. We're gonna go across the grain on this two by 12 and see how well it does. All right, so it did a decent job. It's kind of a little unusual to handle just because of the way the angle of this blade is. It's not the greatest for chopping, but as you can see, it did a fairly decent job of it. All right guys, so let's come back and let's see how well it does on those other sharpness tests and see how well it held its edge. I know it didn't do very well on the paper the first time around, and it probably is gonna do even worse now, but let's give it a try. Really, it's only tearing, but as I said, that's for razor sharpness. Let's see how well it does on some practical things. 
Again, we've got parachute cord here. Let's see how well it does. It still did a pretty good job. It's still fairly clean cut. And now let's try it on the leather again and see how well it does with that. Some of the things that I like about this knife, I like the full tank. It definitely feels solid. I also like the stainless steel blade. It's fairly sharp and it holds its edge really nicely. Now the handle is not exactly ergonomic, it's fairly flat, but it has some really good texture on it and I like that. It also feels very well balanced. As far as dislikes go, well, it's got this forward angle that I'm not really fond of. It makes it difficult to chop, but it's not bad, it's just unusual. I also dislike the fact that they discontinued this knife. I'm going to have to find myself a couple more of these before they all disappear. Until next time guys, take care and be safe.